Hello, my fellow adventurers! This is Maluncha, and welcome back to New World. We have a repeating event starting today, guys. So let's first take a look at what is presented for us in the next upcoming two weeks. Rabbit's Revenge Easter is here, and that means everywhere around the world, the Easter Bunny is laying chocolate eggs. Except on a tournum, they are basically going corrupted and are attacking us. So just as the chill of winter has begun to fade, a new terror sends shivers throughout the island of Aeternum. Aye, the scourge of the corrupted conies has returned to inflict their confounding mix of cuteness and horror. Fortunately, these fearsome fluff balls also bear enticing rewards to those brave heroes who would smite them. So smite them you shall, and rewarded you will be. So daily rewards is the lucky rabbit's foot, which increases your... Uh, look with I think it's five percent for well I think I think half an hour but depends if you actually have the trophy then it might become like 42 minutes or something like that and then daily gypsum so daily gypsum now can be found from these as well six per day I'm not really sure for the lucky rabbit's foot I think it is five per day and my nose is super itchy a second please ah way better uh, we got a rare skin and we got the rare chest now last year the rare chest was a chance to drop and for me personally it took a thousand hundred and forty three kills i think before i got the chest there were people who got like three thousand four thousand five thousand kills and still didn't get the chest this year there's a little change the rare skin is guaranteed on the 200th kill so it can drop before 200 kills but if you get to 200 kills, it is guaranteed that you get the rare skin. And the rare chest is actually for 500. So no longer are you going to need to run endlessly farming up these bunnies. To actually have a chance to get this chest, it is guaranteed now, guys. Same with the skin. So the resolve of everybody not being able to get the chest last year is kind of fixed with this, right? So let's go in game and let's go see where I am going to farm up the rabbits this year for this event. So yeah, this time, really good news. It's a guaranteed chest, guys. Now, if we want to take a look, I think I have my chest here in Brightwood. Let's quickly go into my house. And let's see if I can find it. Yeah, here it is. So it is this chest here that you can actually get guaranteed on 500. Be decorate. So if we would pick up. And if we go into a different chest right here. 3800 so it is basically a thousand fifty no it's less what was it four thousand three thousand <laughs> i already forgot holy crap i'm so bad at numbers guys sometimes let's place back so 3800 right rotate it like this place it down and now open up again so yeah it is 3800 uh we go to so it's a thousand fifty inventory with this chest guys so it's really is a big chest that you can place in your house so definitely really interesting if we can get a second one for our brightwood uh, brightwood storage now where am i gonna farm last year i kind of went all over eternum to actually check out where the best spot was and i kind of found this road from this intersection here all the way down to the bridge and i think if i remember correctly I think there were like 55 bunnies that you could find along the way. And basically, if you move up, you kill all the 55 and then run back. The first one is spawned again. So we basically have a, an unlimited run through where you want to farm, right? So the first bunny should actually be over here. But as it's not, it is possible that somebody is already running down this route, right? We'll have to see. We got normally two bunnies over here. It might be possible that they actually changed like that they the developers noticed like okay this route has too many bunnies on it and they kind of changed the drop rates or the spawn rate for not drop rate the spawn rate for the bunnies it used to be two behind this wall like running along this along this path brings back so many memories i spent to get the chest, like I say, yeah, there's already two people here farming. So this is a well-known spot, guys. If you really want to farm up this efficiently, it's best to come here, like, at night, I think. 
when nobody else is actually farming this location. Yeah, there's already more people here. So it is possible that I'm not gonna do a proper... Because the problem is, if there's multiple people here, the rotation is not gonna be... Yeah, that's a wolf. The rotation is not gonna be proper. There should be five bunnies down here. Or four bunnies down here. Two bunnies on this side. And it does seem... I kind of read something. It does seem like they explode this time. If you kill them. So kind of be careful on that. But as there's multiple people farming in the same location... The rotation of you killing everything, running to the bridge, and then running back and have everything spawn again as you go along this road again. It basically gets screwed up, so it's uh, kind of a chance on where you wanna... If you are lucky to actually be farming here alone. If you are playing on a lower population server, this event is gonna be really, really easy. And as you can see here, another player is farming up here. There's another bunny down here. So it might be possible that I am just not going to farm right now and just come back like uh, like it's during the week, right? So I can imagine that there's uh, it's when Wednesday is it Wednesday. Yeah, it's Wednesday. <laughs> uh, I can imagine that there's a lot of uh, people from school and such. Yeah, they are exploding. And we do get a bag. So the first six skills should give me the uh, actual diamond gypsum and the fouled rabbit's foot. So let's see. I think it is five if I remember correctly. Got one over here. And another one. Over there. Let's start with this wolf. Come on, dude. Go dead from the poison. There we go, perfect. And there should be one more over here. There should be four over here. Three along that way or four along that way. There's one over there. There we go. That was a lucky shot. I do have to say that was a lucky shot. Yeah, like I said, if there's too many people here, the farm is not going to be the best probably in the game because well yeah if everybody is farming along the best farm spot then the best farm spot is not the best farm spot anymore right there should be another one over here so usually i take out the right side of this road and then go along the left side and we've got normally one over here i think and as we can see there's an already there's already one over there and then, yeah, like I said, basically you go up and down this road, guys. Up and down this road, constantly picking everybody up, everything up. And I'm skinning everything as well, rawhide and a little cooking ingredients, always really nice. And now it's just, uh, well, the kill game. Uh, I always skin everything, if possible, what I actually, and loot everything that I actually kill that way i have a better tracker on how many i actually killed right so right now i have four game meat meaning i had got four kills and if you want to do the math towards uh how many well it's basically 500 for the chest i think it is a good thing to actually do this like this way you can see how close you are actually are towards getting that chest and well getting the 200 kills you need for the mask so i'm gonna keep myself busy guys Haha, <laughs> here we go. Corrupted rabbit mask box. So it is a loot drop, guys, from a kill, not from a skin. Holy crap. The foul storage chest of the hair, guys. For 174 kills. I've got all. I'm done with the event already. Last year, it took me 11 hours over the course of two days to actually get everything that was in there. Well, basically the chest <laughs> that was in there. 174 kills. And I'm done. Holy crap, this is really nice. Which also means... Let's take a look at this rabbit. Rabbit uh, look, right? So, what is it? We need to open the box to claim the skin. Apply it from the skin menu. So, let's open the box. There we go. And then... 
the file storage chest for 30,050 weight when placed in your home. Now, I do wonder if you can, I do believe you can place multiple of these in your home. Meaning that I can, I can get a lot of storage in my home. All right, let's, uh, let's see what this looks like. Change skin. Confirm. <laughs> it's rather demonic. <laughs> it is rather demonic skin, guys. Holy crap. Look at me now. Look at me now. <laughs> 174 now it kind of looks like really static it would be really nice if the ears would move a little a little bit i feel yeah it looks really static i'm not really a fan of the red eyes but yeah i it's a corrupted bunny mask right it's a corrupted bunny mask so really really nice that means yeah i'm done for the event really really fast actually and i'm gonna come back daily here for my well daily gypsums of course and then for the lucky rabbits the default rabbit's foot so if i actually use so it is four five percent for 40 minutes so it is not uh because if i usually if i would do this it's a uh, fillet so it's 35 minutes if I would use this, you can see right now that I'm actually getting 58 minutes. And I'm getting 58 minutes because I actually have in bright wood. If I basically have the trophy. The Feast of Plenty food trophy that we got from Turkey Terror 2022. And that basically means that food buff durations are increased by 25%. But that is not for the actual rabbit foot. Although it is a food consumable, it does not increase as you can see. And it is 5%. On top of other well not on top it changes it changes or it uh replaces other food buff uh well looks that you might have but it's pretty good if you go on uh on chests what are you shooting at what are you shooting at good luck uh hunting dude anyway i'm done guys i'm gonna replace this chest with another chest in my storage in my house and let's see what kind of a storage we can actually get now yeah, time to replace this 600 weight storage iron chest with 1050. Can I actually? Oh, the plant is in the way. So I'm gonna need to uh, move. Yeah, let's move this one. Let's put it right here in the corner. And then place this one right over here. Really, really nice. Now what do we got? 5,300 storage. Hell yeah, that's looking more like it. Because my storage of Brightwood, because it's my home, is kind of always pretty much filled up with a whole bunch of resources. And it's still not enough. Like, it's... I kind of kind of need to, like... Usually I keep only a thousand of these and the rest I kind of sell. But I definitely, definitely need more storage here. So can't wait. Till I can actually change up the other chests in my house. I still got one more here uh, from 600. That uh, would mean 400 more. And I'm not really sure how much the golden chests are actually at. So 5,300 if I would pick this one up. So pick it up. And let's quickly check. So 1,000. So it's even bigger than the gold steel storage chests. So if I could replace this one in the end as well... Then that would mean that's in two years. <laughs> in two years, I basically got the max amount of storage, I think. Not really sure. What's the biggest amount of storage that we can get, guys? Let's quickly check the auction house. Now I'm really, really curious. And you can actually sell them. Look at that. You can actually sell them. I didn't know that. What's the lowest price they're going for? Oh, the polished marble storage chest is 1050 as well. So there is actually a tier 4 chest. Is there no tier 5 chest? They're all tier 4. Yeah, there's no tier 5 chest. It's kind of kind of strange. But the uh, yeah, polished marble stone chest is 1050. Okay, so it is it is on par with the biggest chest you can actually uh, have in the game. Anyway, guys, I'm going to wrap up this episode here. Let's sit around down like we always do and end it here. If you want to see more of my quest progression on my let's play here in New World or any other game I might play on my channel, guys, 
just hit that subscribe button it would always help out a lot i do hope you enjoyed this episode or find it useful and i see you in the next one bye bye